Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the bonus love read. This time I will be doing this reading for Pisces, Scorpio and Leo as they got the most views for the readings that I uploaded recently. I will be picking out two more signs who will get the most views in the remaining signs that I uploaded today. So let's see. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be for the sign of Leo as, um, I, have all, uh, as I have already shared that, you know, I have injured my arm so I've, I, I am unable to do the shuffling on cam so what i've done is i've spread out the cards here so i will be picking out one from you know uh, uh when it comes to the oracle cards i've spread it, uh, spread out the decks one deck two three and four i will be pulling out cards from the middle of them and then i have pulled out uh you know the cards about their current energies how do they feel about you and what do they secretly want you to know at the end i will be also adding some charms in this reading so stay tuned so yeah, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. And um, yeah, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram for daily readings. So let's dive into the reading, let's find out the current energies of the person that the Leos are dealing with. Let's tap into their current energies, whatever they are doing in their life, we are going to tap into all of it. Let's begin. Seven of Pentacles, whoever it is that you're dealing with, this person is um, busy working towards um, <sighs> they are doing their best they can, uh, but still, it's whatever it is that they are working towards, I don't see them getting the fruit of their labor. They will not be getting as much appreciated as they should be. They, mo they won't be getting as much uh, rewarded as they should be. But yes, I do see them kind of, you know, still busy working towards it, whatever it is that they are doing. I do see them, you know, taking care of their responsibilities, uh, at work, family, everything that they have to do. They are definitely doing that all. But I don't see them satisfied. Whoever it is that, they are, that you are dealing with, I don't see them happy and satisfied. Then we do have Knight of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, your person is really um, doing all and everything. Uh, they, but I feel like, you know, there is some sort of uh, immaturity coming with your person. Like, you know, the way they are dealing with things, they are not understanding a few things that they should have understood by now because it seems like, you know, they have been working towards whatever it is that they're working towards for quite some time and they never got what they wanted. So it's more like, you know, maybe it's high time that they realize the things that they should be like, you know, maybe giving up on or moving on from. Maybe they, they want to have one of their career goal reach, but now with these energies, it seems like, you know, they, they are not getting satisfied with anything that they are doing and investing their time and energy into. So that's them uh, taking immature steps in their work life right now. Um, lacking stability and still not understanding where they need to put their right effort into. So that's them. Let's see what do they feel for you or about you uh, or the connection that they have with you. Let's see how do they feel currently for you and the connection. Um, the Fool paired up with Nine of Wands. <sighs> They are somebody who's very immature. They really want to start something new with you, but at the same time, they still have the guards up with you as well. They are keeping their guards up and high, and they are not letting you in. Neither they are letting you go out as well. Their immaturity is pretty much dominant in their attitude and you know behavior. Uh, there is something that they need to understand. Um, there are there are certain things that they need to change in them, but. It's, it's like, you know, the, the immaturity is reflecting in every area of their life right now. Um, I do see that, you know, uh, when it comes to you, they do feel that, uh, you know, they, they, they can give it another chance with you. They might be planning to see you. They might be planning to talk to you. But then something holds them back as well. So it's like, you know, um, the need to talk, the need to not to talk. Like, you know, there is something that stops them. Um that's that's like you know something uh maybe because of the past that you had with them uh maybe it's like uh their work uh scenarios are kind of you know um getting the best of them right now and they feel energetically drained so it's there is something that stops them from you know um coming towards you starting a new with you it's all because of their immature actions reactions decisions at the work front which is affecting your love life with them for sure they are unable to free themselves from this kind of shitty attitude 
behaviors, patterns in their work situation. They are struggling and juggling and unable to make the right decision in their work scenarios, which is definitely affecting them and their life right now. Now let's see how or what is it that they really want you to know. What is their secret message for you? Um, the world, I feel like, you know, your person is definitely waiting for some sort of a change coming up, like, you know, some miraculous thing happening for them. Really looking forward to some sort of a divine intervention where everything is going to fall into place for them. But with their attitude, I don't think that things will change easy because it's them um, who is basically blocking their own path and they don't even know it. There are certain things that they really have to um, put an end to because it's something which is not good for them or for their vibe or for their health. They need to let that go. We will be taking clarify for the, these cards here, but yeah, let's see the last card first. What else do they want you to know? Ten of Cups. They really want you to know that they are waiting for that fine time, right time in this connection. So when they could have this connection, uh, getting into solid commitment, having a family life with you. They really want you to know that I'm looking forward to that. One day we will have that. One day we will have a home. One day we will have a family together. I am looking forward to that, but when is that going to happen? When is that going to happen? They have no clue because their immature attitude is not going to let that happen anytime soon. Let's see the cards uh, as a clarifier for all these cards here. Let's see what else is happening in this person's life and this person's current energies right now. Hold on. Let's see what is it that they're working towards and that too, uh, not with clarity. Hold on. I do see that your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, they, they do struggle with the communication, not with you only, but also with the with the people who are they who they are in uh, communication with because for their work as well. I feel like you know they, they are not good with communication at all. And that's why they struggle. Uh, there is lack of clarity in the communication that they have with others at work front as well. Um, maybe they do have the same issue with you as well, but I do see them struggling there. Um, Queen of Swords. For some of you, I feel like you know, your person really feels like you know they don't have enough time to put into the connection right now, and they really, uh, you know, uh, they really want. Um, Sometimes they really want to put the connection, uh, you know, put the effort in the connection, but then they feel like maybe I don't have enough time. Um, they keep going back and forth in their decision about you. It seems like, you know, uh, they have been running away from commitment also. Like, you know, this person really um, doesn't know what do they want with you. I feel like, you know, you are pretty much on their mind dominantly. Uh, more than anything else because with the clarifiers it seems like you know they do feel that um, they have been very immature with you uh, in this connection and uh, let's see what do they want they really want to have a smoother beginning with you but then they feel that the beginning that you desire can happen only after they give you commitment which they are not ready for so that's the stop or that's the block for them let's see what do they want you to know what do they you know um, and what stops them? Hold on. They really want you to know that I would love to have a future with you if and only if you understand them the way they are. If and only if you let them be the way they are. It seems like, you know, the person that you are dealing with, they really want you to know. Um, you know, with their energy, it seems like, you know, What is it? Let me see. What is it that's blocking them? They overthink about commitments, about, you know, relationship, uh, you know, taking relationship to the next level. That's something which they get too scared of that they 
they don't know what to do so they pull pull away they they kind of you know pull themselves away and they make you feel like you know as if you are uh you know um you are nobody to them so your person is definitely 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 um very scared of commitment right now so i don't think that this person is like you know gonna give in to this connection completely because there are days when they are good there are days when they will push you away so they will hold themselves back from the communication they will you know communicate when they feel like maybe you're gonna leave them they are very uh immature again so that's them let's see what else do they want you to know let's see their special other messages for you let's see what else do they want you to know i am yours forever Maybe it's them knowing that you are theirs forever as well, but maybe they want you to know that I am yours forever. But yes, I do have some things that I want to change before I could commit to you. Um, I want you now and forever. They really want you to know that they want you now and forever, but not now. Like you know, it's it's more of that energy. They are not ready. They are not prepared. They once they are ready, they would want you and only you. But right now, they are not ready and prepared for it. Let's see more cards. What else do they want you to know? I deserve more than you are giving. Love. I feel like you know that's you telling them because it seems like you know, uh, or maybe if the energies are completely reversed for you, maybe it's uh, you know, you are uh, you know, maybe it's um. Uh, Maybe it's you uh, feeling that, you know, you, you deserve more than what this person is giving into this connection with you as well. But it seems like, you know, your person is not giving into this connection at all. Because of their fears again. So, let's see cards from this spread here. Let's see, what do they have to add to the reading? You are a superstar. Your person really likes you a lot. There is a lot of liking energy here in this connection. They really want to have a new start with you as well. The fears is the only thing that stops them. Let's see more cards here. Prayers will be answered. Whatever you desire with this person, your prayers will be answered. But yes, maybe you have to wait because this person needs to heal. There are certain things that are, you know, stopping this person to commit. Kisses and hugs and love. There is definite passion that you share for each other. But yes, nothing more than that right now. Uh, have faith in the unknown. This connection can become something beautiful, but until and unless your person stops having this fear of commitment, nothing's going to change. And seeing energies around this person, it's like sometimes they feel like it's, uh, it's I don't have time enough to invest into this connection. And then they feel like, okay, let me try. And then they feel like, oh my God, maybe I don't have time. So that's them. But yeah, let's see one card from this deck. <clears throat> Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. <sighs> I feel like, you know, your person needs time to heal and stuff. Do you think you are ready to give them more time? Then let them have the time that they need right now to heal, to overcome their fears around commitment. Once they are ready, like this said in the first card, I want you now and forever. Whenever they will be ready, they would want you for now and forever. So just give them ha give them the time that they need. Let them have the space. They will be coming towards you once they are ready. Let's see one last card from this uh, Lover's Oracle card. Let's see what it has to add to the reading. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see the things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I feel like, you know, maybe for some of you, you are having um, thoughts like maybe I invested in the wrong person and wrong connection. You are feeling bad for yourself for investing your time and energy into this connection because this person is not giving you commitment and you are tired of waiting on for them. Maybe you are tired of waiting on for them to give you commitment, happy home life that you desire. And this person is going to take long is what I'm picking up with their blocks that they have. It seems like they're going to take longer than what you can imagine right now. But if you start getting um, fearful, it's going to even stop or block the connection further. So make sure, you know, while you wait, just just do positive things. Invest your time praying, affirming and all those things, which is going to enhance the movement forward towards what you desire with this person. And, uh, you know, don't let your fears block you with the, uh, you know, this uh, block this connection even further. Let's see what the charms have to add to the reading for you guys. 
we do have two alphabets, which is Q and U. Then we do have a birdie, which is a dog, and then a flower, and then we do have a lollipop candy. I feel like, you know, you, you really have to start having fun in your life again. Start having more faith. Start feeding faith within you around this connection than your fear. Because I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, they, they have fears, but maybe because the... They are taking a long time. You are also getting fearful now because you feel like, you know, it's, it's uh, stuck and it's not moving where you want it to move. You have to have the faith in the universe and the divine timing when it comes to this connection that you have with them. Because I feel like, you know, it might take time, but things will evolve eventually exactly how you want it to be. Your person will give you commitment, but right now they are not prepared. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. So, yeah, till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.